the studio uh, get in sign to to contribute to this point. Um, he, he's listed quite a few right. problems that 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 contributes to our, our music industry looking yeah. this way. Now, from your technical point of view. Um, how how easy or how difficult would it be to overcome some of these hurdles? It's going to be very difficult, <laughs> right? So um, first, he mentioned numbers. That's mm -hmm. our major problem. Okay. Now, um, I think um, was it this week or so? Data came out from the people housing census or something. Yeah. And we are 30 million mm -hmm. and some coins, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eight coins. Yeah, and some coins. Then um, internet penetration is now 50% mm -hmm. from 48 previously to 50% um, 50 Okay. That means 15 million of Ghanaians have connected. access to internet. Even that, what's the stability? What was the quality of internet they have? Now with this 15%, it says um, about 58% of them are banned. Mm. The reason I'm talking about banking is to subscribe to Apple Music, you need a credit or a debit card. Yeah, definitely. Mobile money doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Right. This means about 8 million of Ghanaians are able to do this. Mm. And how many of them are even willing to pay for this subscription if they mm. can get a song for free? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Right? So now we are talking about, let's see, let's do 10%. That's like 800,000. And this 800,000 can even get it elsewhere. So they don't subscribe. Now what happens is, you get, so even with this question, as in Ghanaians consuming, with the charts we see, um, I feel that data is even inaccurate. And the reason I'm saying that is, it's foreigners in Ghana streaming songs. Exactly. Not Ghanaian streaming mm -hmm. foreign songs. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. what's happening is you have maybe a Chiemeka or um, Chinedu here, mm -hmm. <laughs> who is um, subscribing to maybe Apple or Spotify. Yeah. Now, when they stream, they are streaming from Ghana with the IP address. It's Apple Ghana. identifies and says, okay, this stream is coming from Ghana. Yeah. So yes, the person is streaming Nigerian songs from Ghana. That is how Nigerian songs will populate our charts. Oh. What this also means is there's profiling when you sign up. Okay. So I look at AJ. AJ is female from Ghana, um, does this, does that. Then Chris also is female from Ghana, does this, does that. Maybe AJ is subscribing from Ghana, but not a Ghanaian. Now, because you're a heavy user and you're already there, they now look like, they don't, the system then thinks, you guys are similar. So mm -hmm. if you are listening to a Davido, you like the video as well. Yeah. And so they, they, so they, now so they start recommending right. other artists so the to you. Algorithm right. now yeah. right. starts picking it out. Right. So, okay. so what happens is when you start choosing, even when you are um, select, when you are onboarding, they ask you to choose artists you yeah. like. Yeah. 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 You and are from Ghana and sometimes really you see a lot of foreign artists in mm -hmm. there. And when you start choosing, it then filters and narrows down. Yes. Yes. So the moment you choose the video, then Bena Boy it comes. Gives you all Whiskey those comes. Yeah. Where is Sarkozy and Stone Boy? And now that's the thing. So sometimes, um, the algorithms that power these platforms are also not helping us. Mm. Now, there's other three things that these algorithms do. One is called um, content-based filtering, collaborative filtering, and audio analysis. Now, the content-based is um, when you write or you blog about songs. Mm -hmm. These platforms go online, we call something crawling. So they visit websites, they pull data, they out, yeah. and look at what is relevant. Mm -hmm. So when they collect this, they now use this to look at what people are likely to listen to. So that is why in the Western world where they do a lot of PR, they write about songs and all of that, when they release, it flies better than here. Mm -hmm. Now let me use um, Kanye's Ye album, mm -hmm. then um, Benna Boy's Ye song. Mm -hmm. Now, these two songs were released in 2018. And when you go online right now and type Ye, Y-E, you see Kanye West and you see Benna Boy in there. This is called growth hacking. Benna Boy is now feeding on Kanye. Kanye Be West's audience? Yes. Wow. Because when, when you are looking for Kanye, now he's, he pops up. This even explains how that music became so huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. OK. So sometimes um, it's you knowing how these systems work and find a way around it. So you make it work for you as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Now with audio analysis, this is what the problem is for Ghanaians right okay. now. The platforms listen to songs, then they look at the key, melody, um, um, tempo, yeah, BPM, BPM, all of that. All, yeah. Now, when they do this, they then use this to find matches. So when you listen to an, um, a high life song, another high life song could be recommended to you. Yeah. How many Ghanaians are um, 
producing with Nigerian producers. Yes, they, they will do more of a feature mm -hmm. than to get a Nigerian to do the production. Like what Adina did. The, the production itself like sounds very authentic, right? Mm -hmm. Nigerians are doing recordings with Ghanaian producers. MOG, for instance, mm -hmm. yeah. re records for recorded for um, one of the um, hit guys, I think, um, Fireboy also recently. Kiss Daniel. Mm -hmm. Correct. So when they do this, this means when you when you listen to let's say Happy Day by Sarko, they're mm -hmm. produced by MOG. Yeah. That then now feeds Niger into... songs comes. Yes. So wow. they understand what they are doing is intentional. Yeah. They know what to do to get the numbers. That's but amazing. here, you have artists having their managers, friends as managers, mm. people who don't really know the, the science behind this. Exactly what he like said. Yes, saying, people yeah. who don't know. So, um, Mingo is my friend. He's been rolling with me from day one. <laughs> now I'm there, so Mingo, make you handle me. Yeah. So, what he knows how to do is, Charlie, some show, 10,000, then they go. But to understand how some of these things work, mm. to guide the artist to do it and do it well, they don't know. Wow. Then the last thing I'm going to mention, which is very simple, see Shatawali. Mm -hmm. He may not have his songs. I'm not saying he doesn't. I'm saying he <laughs> may not have his songs. <laughs> but he's been relevant for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's controversy. People are writing about him. Mm -hmm. So that's content based, right? So it means because his name is always there. He will he, always pop he up. He will always pop up. I'm sorry, pop up. So if we understand how this, um, these things work, and Let's say I'm releasing a, uh, an album. I could go like, sign, release, hit songs for 2021. Now, 10 years later, or some years later, someone comes and goes like, hit songs for 2021. My intent will pop up. Mm -hmm. This will not be rocket science. Yeah. Wow. Right. Yeah. They don't yeah. know this. Yeah. So um, it's um, education. OK. True. Right. That's, okay. that's the major. And also okay. getting the right people to play the right role in the career of the musicians. Now